All right, what is good, YouTube? We are here with a new video featuring Overlizer. Boys, I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I am super excited about this one. I've been getting a lot of questions in my stream. I've been getting DMs. Forensic, how do you use Overlizer? How do you make live bets using Overlizer? This video will give you a, I would say, brief overview with clips from my stream to explain how I created this filter about a few weeks ago just to test and make a video about. This filter today that I'm using will be here on the left side of the screen. Very, very simple feature here I made. It was just to make a live bet. The filter here is to make a live bet on first half goals. So if we look over here to the left, I had this filter set up between minute 15 and 37. Total game pressure, a minimum of 30. No goals in the match because for this filter specifically i did not want to make live first half bets if there was already a goal in the match right i wanted to keep this very simplified to no goals in the first half yet then uh, if you come down here a little bit you'll see the shots that i did were one on target and two off target now you might be asking how did i come about these numbers there was really no reason right just from using overlizer for the past two years these numbers made sense to me right because from zero to 15 you're not going to get good odds for a first half goal after the 37th minute you're kind of taking a long shot right you're kind of taking a long shot on a goal because i I don't know if I'm going to be confident in taking a bet after the 37th minute for a game that does not have a goal yet in the first half. Live pressure of 30 has usually been my go-to number of seeing when a match is increasing in pressure. And then the sh one shot on target is mainly because I cannot make a bet on the first half for a goal if there hasn't been a shot on target yet. And then two off target shots just to, just to show that there are things happening in the match, right? There is activity in the match. I think you could even add corners to it. I didn't want to get too, too, too crazy with uh, European competitions and international break. I didn't want to get too simple simplified but on a Saturday for example where a lot of matches are going down you could make it more simplified here so the clips that'll be after this intro here you will see how I implemented these filters live and it'll give you a brief overview on how you can use filters on Overlizer to make live bets that you may have missed if you did not have these filters here before we get to the rest of the video boys if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button hitting the like button get this video pushed out to the algorithm so other people can see if this filter is useful for them and also in the comment section let me know if there are any other filters filters or betting concepts that you'd like me to test in the next video let's look all right so zagreb Pauk. so on this filter right here, like i said 50 to 37 minutes is, is the range i have 30 percent pressure live zero goals in the match two corners minimum one on target two off target we do have a couple games that look pretty nicer so the villarreal match versus marseille looks pretty good here for first half goal as you can see here seven shots two corners looks pretty interesting and then Pauk and zagreb also look like a solid first half goal potential here so i think i want to take the villarreal match then right just based on this overlizer pressure i kind of like the idea for 25 more minutes and the pressure they're putting on and the shots in the corners go pauk oh okay all right well i mean that would do it right that would do it that would do it going pauk and the uh the first half filter looked pretty good first half filter looked pretty good there it had it on pauk for a while and as you can see the pressure on overlizer does deliver the goal on pauk i had it in my parlor so i didn't i was gonna i wanted to wait a little bit longer for it but there you go over 0.5 first half in Villarreal Marseille at about 1.95. The Villarreal Marseille pressure does still look pretty good. They got another corner, another attack. The pressure's gonna rise up a little bit more. Goal Villarreal! Goal Villarreal! Goal Villarreal! Let's go! Let's go! Lil Stream Grotz. Ooh, I actually kind of like Lil Stream Grotz a little bit. I kind of like Lil Stream Grotz a little bit. Only because of Sturm Graz showing the pressure as a big underdog. So we'll go for a Lil and Sturm Graz over 0.5 halftime. Over 0.5 first half and Lil Sturm Graz at 2.2. Lil? Did we get Lil? Please say we got Lil. All right. Cool. Good, 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 good. Great on Lil. Great on Lil. Great on Lil. I shout out over shout out Overlizer on that one, right? On the Lil one. Excellent. Excellent. So again, the filter. I, that was the filter one. This was a filter bet. We'll take Lil. Al Saad does look pretty good for a first half goal based on this filter right here, where we are looking at pressure between 15 and 37 minutes, 30 live pressure, no goals in the match, and one and two, one on target and two off target. If it does open up, if we can get a bet on it, Al Saad over 0.5 first half would be nice. I mean, it just looks incredible right here. So I'm just going based off my filter here for first half goals. I'm trying to see if I'm kind of cooking. It cooked during Europa. We got Villarreal from it. We got Bruges and Molda yesterday from it. And we got another match from it, I want to say. Um, Lil, the Lil match. All three of those matches came from this little little filter I made here. So I'll go for Al Saad versus Muiter. Over 0.5 first half at 1.87. 1.87. Al Saad pen. Excellent. Okay, this is the easy part. The easy part's done. Now the hard part. Now the hard part. I think well, who's it for? Who's the pen for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's the pen for though in it? Huh. Weird. All right. Bang! Let's go, baby. Let's go. So now the goal comes in. 
the goal comes in for Al Muidar here. And the filter looks pretty, pretty genius yet again. Very quick, too, in it. Very quick, too. 